Lava. So sleep, everybody does it, and it's a big part of your lives. I mean, to be honest, if we sleep eight hours a day, that's a third of the day, if the day is 24 hours long, as it is. And that means we sleep for a third of our lives. Now, obviously, give or take, we don't actually sleep eight hours every single day. Everybody's known to stay up all night, even if that is their choice or not. I've had my fair share of sleeping problems. I'm sure you have too. And I actually want to get to the bottom of this, find out why I am having sleep problems, if any, or it's all just in my head. So obviously the brain can't shut down and rest if you're awake. That's what sleep is for. Now while you sleep, there are two phases of sleep that you go through and each changes about every 90 minutes. The first is called deep sleep. And obviously you've heard the phrase, someone is in deep sleep, means they're hard to wake up. And this is where the brain does most of its resting and restoring. And if you've been working out in a day or just some hard labor, or you've been stressed from say, exams or a new job, then this is where your brain is going to restore some of what it needs to keep you going. The other phase is a bit different. Now this phase is called REM sleep. I am a hurricane, listen to yourself, turn world to the tongue. No, no, not the band. I mean rapid eye movement sleep. Now this is, as you can guess, if you open someone's eyelid while they sleep, you see their eyes moving around you think that's because they're dreaming and it's true and that's what rapid eye movement sleep is it's when you dream now for me it's kind of weird I, uh, I tried to figure out why I couldn't sleep what it was, was there something on my mind? something I was thinking about and there are a number of conditions I need to have to be able to sleep well this is just from past experience of things and just uh, a way of living that I'm used to, in a way. Way? Way. Hey! For a long time now, I've always gone to sleep while watching something on the TV, and it's kind of hard to get out of that state. I have a lot of stuff on my mind, and sometimes it's hard to get to sleep when all of that is unleashed in a room of darkness and silence. There are different things that can cause a lack of sleep, though. I have a list right here. So if I'm looking here, it's because I'm looking at the list. Okay. First of all, stuff like physical disturbance, such as noise. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end. Ah! Now, obviously, when it comes to sleep problems, the thought that you have insomnia comes into your head straight away. I know it's happened to me a number of times. You can be lying there thinking that you've got insomnia, thinking that you can't sleep. And this thought will make you not sleep. As long as you think that you're not able to sleep, it's going to stop you from sleeping even more. It's going to put pressure whenever you try to sleep. Now a problem I have with sleeping is because recently I feel like I have to sleep because I need to get up in the morning, not because this is a time for me to rest. And I was lying in bed last night thinking, this is supposed to be when I'm relaxed, and I'm not relaxed. Weird. So I thought to myself, what can I do to make myself relaxed? It brought back an image or more of a memory of when I was young. I imagine a six year old me walking into my mum's room and saying that I was afraid I didn't know how to get to sleep. And she told me this, imagine a white horse running around a field, jumping over fences and it worked. It wasn't hard for me to imagine this scene in my head. A nice sunny day, my mum's field, the white horse, galloping around, very peaceful, and it sent me straight to sleep. So next time you're having trouble sleeping, just imagine something peaceful. And remember, this is your time to rest. Doesn't matter what's coming next, right now, relax. 
Al Kundar. Oh. <sighs>